Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of almighty Allah so without any delay let's start today's video I have been working in the field since 1998 and before that also at the age of 14 I was appointed Imam of the Masjid for Salat al Taraweeh because I was um, I memorized the Quran so, and what I noticed is when you are in the field, especially when you graduate, you've learned something, you have sat in a circle, you have studied something. At the beginning, you always feel and believe, which is not bad. Mm. You believe you are right. You have reason to believe that you are right. This is the evidence of why I'm right. To that point, it's still a good thing. It's a good thing. You follow what I'm saying? Then we think to ourselves, I need to spread what is right so that others can actually follow what is right. It's also a good thing. Still a good thing, right? Yeah. It's required. Then what happens beyond that? So on. Then beyond that, we tend to have an idea that there is no scope for anyone else to interpret this in any other way besides my way and the way of my Sheikh. Are you following what I'm saying? That itself is a disease. Mm. That's a disease. You and your Sheikh can fly a kite. Both of you. If you think you are the only one and you have, what is the difference between us and the others? If we think that our Sheikh is the only Sheikh who's right in this dunya, come on. That is a disease that others have. We should not be having that. So no matter who you are, you can believe you are on Quran and Sunnah. But you cannot believe that you cannot make mistakes and your sheikh cannot make mistakes. That is a disease. Yeah. That is a big disease. And the problem is shaitan comes to everyone, including the one who is on haq. Shaitan comes to those who are on haq more than he goes to others. Because he, look at the kuffar. He's already got them in his trap. He doesn't bother with them. They're excited. They're happy. He's got them in on his side. But shaitan comes to those who are coming towards the right path. Those who want to call others towards the good path, Shaitan comes and what does he do? He tries to contaminate you in so many ways. He's very deceiving. Mm. Let's not think he doesn't come to us. He comes. Subhanallah. So why I'm saying this is because I have noticed over the years there is a war between us exactly. based on who your Sheikh is. <laughs> What's the point? I laugh at it. My Sheikh is Muhammad ibn Abdullah al Hashimi al Qurashi. If there is anyone besides that, I respect them. A lot of them have more right than wrong, but I would not be a person who just says blindly, this Sheikh is 100% right. Everything he has uttered. Who is he? Can you explain to me who is he? Say the biggest name on earth today, according to you, it will be a different name according to him and it will be a different name. And we are all on Quran and Sunnah. Hmm. So it's a disease because if you look at the, the groupings that we have created out of a good heart, we have created too many groupings. I know of scholars who are all on Quran and Sunnah. They are fighting each other like nobody is on the right path. Yeah. You are all, me and my Sheikh are right, the rest of you. And I know that some of them grew up together, studied together. They, they, they know what's right. And a lot of the times their, their students are the ones who created a bigger disaster than them themselves. Brother and sister, I hope you have watched today's video and I hope you liked the video of Mufti Man because Mufti Mank always speak according to Quran and Hadith and I hope you have watched his video till end. So in today's we have watched a video of Mufti Man in which Mufti Mank told us about a disease which we all Muslim have in our mind. So as you can see in the video, Mufti Mank told us that we should not follow any Mufti blindly because he can also do sins because every human being can do mistakes even he is a Islamic scholar or normal Muslim. So we should not follow them blindly. But to who follow blindly is the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Because Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Prophet of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. And he is because he gave us the messages of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala by sharing Holy Quran to us. And Mufti Man also told us that they will always attack noble Muslim who follow the teachings of 
holy Quran and Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and how we can protect ourselves from devil. Mufti Mek also told us in this video. So guys, what do you think? What Mufti Mek told us is important or not? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And if you are satisfied with the video of Mufti Mek, then it's our request to you guys. Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. See you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.